All right, it's 90.3 KEXP. My name is Troy Nelson in the KEXP live room and very excited because we've been playing this band a lot here on KEXP and I am so glad that they are here all the way from Leeds and I am talking about Yard Act. So Yard Act, if you're all ready, let's do this. Cheers, Troy. This trap pot country are full of We'll finally have the last laugh When dragged underwater by the weight of the tumour it formed When it fell for the fear mongering of the National Front's new hair glue So then what becomes of the inhabitants of this once unstoppable isle When all of its exports are no longer in style are you seriously still trying to kid me? Our culture's gonna be fine when all that's left is no meds. Morris dance into <clears throat> Sham 69. <laughs> Got on the red map, rally on the maple, hijack the sound, stay the claim to it. Every car played a statement, pain, there's always a new scapegoat to blame for it. Ain't good, my heart bleeds. You abandon me, yeah, no, you abandon me too, but we both know. I was the one night too, and I'm not scared of people who don't want my deal, my the hard to the so so so's free free foods this that's buttered bread and the powder bits whose values flit whenever it suits them and we're supposed to let it slide because the press has normalized the idea that racism is something we should humor when the last bastion of hope this once great nation had left was to converse in a manner that classified divide and unite the room but no one's talking a rational thought has been forced into Submission by the media through which all of our information is now consumed. Yeah, fake news. The truth was sold, that's where the trail goes cold My shoulders shudder at the thought And puffing my chest out as I walk home alone Under the arches there's a bloke With a cabin full of stolen phones Knock off cologne and mint cactuses 
Never conditioned for selfishness, mate. I see arsonists with business rates thatched on the back of empty match boxes and police officers getting their truncheons polished off in the bushes, wondering what all the fuss is about and what I'm looking at. But if rust could kill, my vacant gaze would leave and pierce the skin. I'm not lazy, ambition's just something I've no interest in it. At least when I meet my maker, I'll embrace all my mistakes as I descend into the bowels of hell. The sh grin on my face. It's a never-ending cycle of abuse. I had the blues and I can't shake the blues. I had the blues and I can't shake the blues. It's a never-ending cycle of abuse. Oh yeah, well I was skeptical. To how the media had predicted you No getting to know you better We clicked until we stuck together Turn in the corner of the burning Senate after those coppers clocked us Stopped and shook up and down With no grounds to an due process Started discussing whether to let us off And doing nothing or maybe covers for looking like We might be hiding something Then the radio buzzed in Enough time not to get shot yeah. It's a never ending cycle of abuse yeah. I had the blues and I can't shake the blues yeah. I had the blues and I can't shake the blues yeah. It's a never ending cycle of abuse yeah. It's a never ending cycle of abuse yeah. I had the blues yeah. I had the blues and I can't shake the blues yeah. It's a never ending cycle You're listening to Yard Act, live here on KEXP. Almost by accident, I have become rich. Through continued reward for skilled labour in the private sector And a genuine lack of interest in expensive things It appears I have become rich Rich And since I have become rich I've been constantly living in fear Of losing everything That the bubble will burst And falling from my perch I will return once again to the life that I used to lead With the things I didn't have before I had become Rich it appears I have become rich. rich I put a pinch away each week in a place my hand wouldn't fit It is made of solid steel, a square foot deep with a slit No bigger than an inch, no bigger than an inch One day when the seam splits in such a way that it cannot be restitched I'll scratch that insatiable itch and blight the whole hospital and everything in it Because I'm rich it appears I have become rich You twitch in like some headless bird Whilst the witch doctors poach For the stranglers in the herd Pitching for business down on Skid Row The line goes out the door And you're right to the back Man, two more poor dead kids in a ditch I love being rich It appears I have become so rich it appears I have become so, so rich I'm literally drowning in it But no matter how little I've got I'll never lose the plot On top of the hill looking out over the valley You can see for miles and still get shot The farmer doesn't want his cows getting what the other cows have got He keeps his livestock stuffed in his sock And guess what? That's why he's rich It appears we've both become rich 
It appears we both got very, very, very rich. It appears we both got gout. It appears we have no shame. It appears I have to grow rich. It appears I have to grow rich. Give me have mercy on my soul, never know what ever tells you how to be really in. Please teach me how to be modest and how to be rich in equal measure. I've done some terrible things because I'm rich. We're looking for opportunities, inventions that are about to bring the silver rain. Sure, it's a rusting crush, but then again, it's a push. Life is a bit hard to dump, so rip and up. People hate you for it, you run a real risk. A real risk! It appears I have become rich. Woo! It appears I have become rich. It appears I have become rich. It appears I have become rich. And guess what? It rolls up the tongue. Real nice. You're listening to Yard Act, live on KEXP, from the KEXP Live Room. Kill switch indifference to a liquid narrative Hey, obviously I tried writing you out of the will I just didn't have the guts to lie through my teeth Though only because I'm susceptible to the truth on the bleakest of moons And though there is a beauty and a whole truth The knotty roots of a shameful past Are never gonna let it be an escape route so we loot, loot the debris And make no mistake, we're living out our last days In the land of the blind Where the one-eyed man was king Till he went and lost his mind Hey! ba 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 Hands into empty pockets A quick whip around for the long-suffering house band Whilst peace treaties are breached And we can all knock about half-naked on the beaches Of some far-off foreign land Yeah, and we all get a commemorative 50 pence piece each For the peace treaties breached And the palms creased Which are never on the ends of the elbows Digging the graves of the recently deceased Please, have a seat I'm gonna show you all a magic trick, but it's sort of a surprise. So you just lend me that 50 pence piece in your hand and close your eyes. I could make all of this disappear.
That is Yard Act, mm. live on KEXP. Thank you so much, James, Ryan, Sam, and Jay. Playing tonight, if you want to see Yard Act, this is your chance. Playing tonight at Madame Lou's, which is in the downstairs part of the Crocodile. And uh, it's going to be a fantastic show. I can guarantee you that because I just saw it. Um, also going to be playing Doug for uh, Lounge in Portland tomorrow, which uh, also is a fantastic venue. So very excited to have you. Um, have you uh, been to the States before? Uh, yeah, I've yeah, been to New York before. Mm -hmm. and But this is all new. Never been to the West Coast. Mm -hmm. That's uh, You've been to New York, haven't you? This feels like the fun. most like home yet, right. yeah, weather-wise, yeah. a bit of green. It feels like home, but a more idealised version of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody from our part of England would come here and go, yeah, I could live here. <laughs> I'd Definitely. live here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, watching you all perform, the first thing that came to my mind is I don't understand how you remember all these words. You have about a thousand words in each song. I have a hard time memorising my own social security number. Yeah. I don't know how it just is it natural for you. I'm just making it up as I go along. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's different every time. Yeah, yeah. It's but, just what I'm thinking about. It's that amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know how I remember it. I think, uh, well, I think I used to have a good memory when I was a bit younger, but I feel it seems to be forgetting more and more the older I get. So mm -hmm. I've needed like a teleprompter, I reckon, <laughs> by the album too. Well, I was going to say because, yeah, I, I play in a band as well, but we just have like short little pop songs that maybe have 30 words mm. in it, and I still need the lyrics in front of me. So it's quite yeah. astounding that you can do that. Well, I can't remember anyone else's lyrics <laughs> like you know like i had like mates at school as kids who could like memorize entire eminem albums and i can't i couldn't i can't remember any other lyrics mm -hmm. so, but when know. it's your own you you, you probably just yeah. you know it's because they're from the heart they're from the heart exactly <laughs> um how did this all start what what was the very beginnings of yard act me and ryan ryan moved into my house didn't you mate yep because you had to yeah yeah yeah, we've just all kind of known each other for, from bands in like around Leeds for a few years now. And yeah, just been like mates who'd see each other at shows and stuff and all uh, admired each other's bands. And, and then me and James, yeah, moved in together and we just started writing. We were going to sound like Guided by Voices at the start. Mm -hmm. And this is what we landed on. So, you kind know, we're not, <laughs> it wasn't very accurate no. representation, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's yeah. been a wild ride. But we, yeah, we hadn't done like a show with like Jay, Sam joined sort of halfway through mm -hmm. lockdown one and uh, we didn't see him for many months but he was officially in the band and then Jay didn't join until we uh, started playing mm -hmm. live uh, what year are we in 2020 like sort of mid 2021 so like you know it's we, yeah we don't we haven't really done many gigs until last summer yeah I was gonna say you're, you're a pretty new band it's mm. it's kind of amazing how fast this has caught on because mm. your music was first on BBC Radio 6 music C list and then the B list and then the A list then mm. the Annie Max future sounds and now you're here in Seattle in the KEXP live room does it feel a little surreal or does it also seem like a natural progression or a little bit of both well this room's surreal for us because we're all uh, KEXP live session fanatics mm -hmm. so yeah, did freak me so out a bit. Do you when feel we like you're inside of inside of the internet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got that. Yeah, it's got that all-encompassing feel. It's but it's not claustrophobic, whereas mm -hmm. it should feel that way. But I don't know. Like it's, I don't know who designed this room, but it is a gorgeous design. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, KXP is a is a massive one, and it's. Uh, I'm really glad we got to come to the studios to do this. Yeah, yeah, so could. absolutely. Um, as far as uh, your, so your album, obviously, it had gotten pushed back due to like mad pressing times. Mm. Um, what did Stevie Nicks have to do with the delay? Well, everyone always blames rumors by Fleetwood Mac, don't they? Because it's like, well, I don't know. Like, I mean, you can pick up that album quite easily if you, <laughs> if you dig for five minutes in like an Ox Farm or a thrift store over here, I guess. But like, also, if they're selling. That's the world we live in. If it's if it's selling, they're going to keep pressing it. I'm not starting a beef with Stevie Nicks live on KXP. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it on your you Instagram. You tried to reel me in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also always trying to pick out uh, certain artists' influences. Like when I listen to their music, I'm like, oh, they must like this band or this artist. But then I ran into a, a YouTube video of you all covering The Strokes, Hard to Explain, which is a, a band that I wouldn't have heard uh, in, your, in your music. What did that band, or especially that first Strokes record, mean to you? 
You should answer this one, Ryan. Yeah, that's for you, Ryan. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... Uh, what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> well, I do know. They're just in, an incredible band. Yeah, they're just my favourite band, and, it, and it came through the offer. You never talking about yeah. You what? You literally never stop talking about them. No, I don't. <laughs> he just puts Voids B-sides on all the time in the van. Yeah. I'm not complaining. It's good. I like the Voids. Yeah. They were just one of those bands, you know, it was, it was 21 when they came out, and it was like, yeah, I don't know, just obsessed with them. Yeah. I am. It's... Uh, well, that first record, too, I love the production on it. It's yeah, just, yeah. Uh, there's some, mm. they definitely captured lightning in a bottle with that first record. And your guys' cover of it was, was really cool, too. Was that recorded during lockdown? Yeah, there was. I, I don't think there's any way you can uh, do a Stroke song differently and it'd be worthwhile. So it was like, you know, it was basically like a note. In a way, it almost seemed pointless because I just kind of made the vocals sl slightly... Uh, less decent than Julian's, but, but everyone Sam, else played Sam managed it completely to do, accurately. Sam did Al know. Albert and uh, Nick's guitar parts all yeah, in one that, go. That's so. the appeal of our it, cover. It made yeah. me realise how strong their wrists must be. All them downstrokes, downstrokes, the entire set. Are you kidding me? I felt like I was going to die. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I've had the pleasure of interviewing uh, Albert Hammond Jr. and uh, very super strong nice. And just a f yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. watching him play guitar when he was when he was here, and it was just uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. Those downstrokes you're right yeah, yeah. Uh, once again thank you all so much for taking the time to do this we're so happy that uh, we could have you and uh, once again playing Madame Luz tonight which is downstairs at the Crocodile the new Crocodile and also playing the Doug Fur Lounge tomorrow is there anything else that you want to tell the people of Seattle and the world uh, you put me on the spot there um, <laughs> I mean, you don't have no, to feel, either yeah, or they should just no. come to you the show often get, yeah. and see what this is all about yeah just you know check us out we're a, a local band <laughs> far away from <laughs> far away from where we're from well, everyone's yeah no I'm uh, I'm just uh, I'm just having a really nice time on the west coast and genuinely really digging Seattle awesome and uh, thanks for having us, Troy. Cheers. Oh, absolutely. Thanks, KXP. And I uh, can't wait till next time, too. So thank you all so much again. Once again, you've been listening to Yard Act live here on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.